jeweler, jeweler, jewelers. Oh, I'm so excited about the creation of the week. I'm so excited about the jewelry we're gonna make today. You ready for this? Oh my goodness, these earrings, they glitter, they're gorgeous, they're fabulous, oh my gosh, oh my. Oh, we're gonna make them, they're so easy, they're really so easy. So backstory behind these earrings, you ready for this? I have a friend over from California, oh my gosh, I love her, and I was saying, hey, I have to make jewelry this week, I'd love to make you earrings. Here's my Pinterest, pick out some of the Pinterest pins I have, which one do you want? And she picked out these earrings, and I'm like, those kinda look a little bit more complicated than what I'm thinking, and I don't know, and, and then I tried it out, and they're so easy. You're like, Des, those look a little hard, those look maybe just a little bit difficult. They are not. You know how much I love simple, easy, but elegant earrings. Yeah, these fit that description to a T. They are simple, they are easy, and they are so stinking elegant and cute and blink. Oh my gosh, look at that. So are you ready to make these? Because they are easy. If you're scared, don't be scared. Don't be scared because they're so easy. Okay, let's get started making these. So this is what you're going to need to make these cute, adorable earrings. Oh my goodness. The tools, you need your cutter tools. I have electrician cutter tools and jewelry cutter tools. Electrician cutter tools only because I feel like they cut so much better than the jewelry cutter tools, but I keep these around to get into close, tight places. And then I have my round nose pliers and my long nose pliers. For the material, I have chain, two shepherd hooks, two head pins, eight spacer beads, two split rings, and then of course my bead. I have eight bigger bicone beads and then four smaller bicone beads. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our head pin and string our beads through our head pin. So I'm gonna take the first big bicone bead and put it through my head pin, a spacer bead, the other bicone head pin, Another spacer bead, you get the point, right? Bead, spacer bead, bead, spacer bead, bead, spacer bead, just like that. So we have our beads on our wire. See that? And then we're gonna kinda put it in the middle because we want wire on both sides. We want the head pin sticking out on both sides equally, pretty much equally, and then you're just gonna kinda bend it. Do you see that I bent it? Yeah. So then I am going to take my round nose pliers, I'm going to bend it back at a 90 degree angle and I'm going to make a loop on one side. Yeah, just like that, you see that? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then the next, because it's a head pin, I wanna, I wanna cut off the head pin part. So I am going to actually take my, my jewelry cutter pliers, turn it around and cut as close as I can to that head pin and cut off the head pin part. I'm going to bend it back at 90 degree angles. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to loop it around until I have a loop. Oh, do you see? Just like that. So you need a loop on this side, loop on this side, and a bit of a curve. And the head pin will give you that curve. It'll keep that curve. So what I'm gonna do next is I have um, cut already my, my chain I'm going to need. And for me, I counted out, and I wanna do nine links for each chain. So nine links on this side, nine links on this side. I'm gonna take my links, gonna take my loop, and open up that loop just a little bit, and put. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna take the loop on the other side. Open it up. I'm gonna put my chain through and close that loop back up. You don't want a gap or it'll fall apart. Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. Coming together so quickly. So the next thing I need is I need my split ring. I'm gonna open up my split ring. I'm gonna open it up. And I'm going to put my chain through. So the very end link on one side I'm gonna put through. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna take my other link, the last link on the other side, put it through. Do you see how that works? Take your shepherd's hook and put it through the split ring, and then close up that split split ring. Close it up, make sure there's no gap. I like a little overlay. I like to overlap a little bit. <gasps> oh, 
And then to make the final touch, to make the final touch, if you want to, do, if you want to just leave it like that, you totally can. You totally can just leave it like that. So if you want to do a last cute little touch, you're gonna you're gonna need two extra head pins for that. You're gonna take your head pin, put one bicone bean through it. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put one loop on the side of it, one loop, and I'm going to bend it back at a 90 degree angle, and I'm going to make a loop, 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 just like that. But now I'm going to put that loop through the split ring and close it up. Oh, so that it's dangling. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Could that be any more simple or cute? I don't think so. So go ahead and make your second earring exactly how you made your first earring. <gasps> how cute are these? Shh, don't tell my friend I wore them before her. Oh my gosh, I couldn't help, I couldn't help. Are they not so cute? Are they not so easy? Thumbs up, give me a thumbs up if you think they're easy, because I think they're really easy to make, but I think they're gorgeous. I'm, I want a pair for myself now. I'm, I want to make me a pair, that's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make me a pair, they're so cute. Okay, so here's the deal. I would love to see your creation. If this video has inspired you to make earrings like these, then go to my Finesse Jewelry Facebook page and inbox me your picture creation of these kind of earrings, and I'm gonna post it to my Instagram, I'm gonna post it on my Facebook, but I'd love to see your creation creation. Oh my gosh, they're so simple. They're so cute. They're so elegant. They fit the description of this channel perfectly. So that's right. If you want to see more jewelry videos, click right here and subscribe, and then you'll get more notifications about when I do other videos as well. And then here's another video of mine, and here's another video of mine. But that's it. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I love it. Okay, go. Go on. Go make your own creation. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.